We are less than two weeks away from the Iowa PBS premiere of The Bright Path, The Johnny Bright Story. So this film will share the story of Johnny Bright, a black football player who was a standout player at Drake University in the late 1940s and early 50s. We're joined now by Craig Owens, the dean of the John D. Bright College at Drake. Thanks for joining us, Craig, to tell us about this effort, this story. I mean, we were talking about this Johnny Bright. It's a familiar name on Drake campus, but you're hoping that this story will now reach a larger, larger audience. Right. I mean, Johnny's legacy is, spans the last 70 years in football. It was because of a vicious attack on him in 1951 at the Oklahoma, uh, at Oklahoma A&M that football players are wearing face masks today, for instance. So that's one really visible legacy. But Johnny stands at Drake as an example of grit, resilience, high caliber teamwork, really all around excellence as a student and as an athlete. And we felt like this is the time to bring that story to a wider audience. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the effort that went into telling his story, to sharing his story, a lot of interviews, a lot of family that was involved in this. That's right. The Johnny Bright, because, because Johnny touched so many lives, teammates, students, of course his family, the community of, of students he taught, his classmates and peers, the story is really distributed among a lot of different people. And so the filmmakers did, I think, a great job of reaching out to anyone who was touched by the Johnny Bright story and by Johnny himself and gathering some of the bits and pieces of that story that don't necessarily make it into the headlines or aren't the most well known. I know you can't give away everything because you want people to tune right. in to see, but uh, even what are things that people think that they know, they've heard the story, and are there surprises that they'll, they'll find? Right, I think folks know about the Johnny Bright incident in 1951. Most folks are n know that he was uh, a top polling a player for the Heisman Trophy that year and that that attack kind of derailed those hopes. I think fewer people know about the kind of incredible successes he had after he left Drake University in the Canadian Football League as an educator in Canada and really as a role model for, for folks he met and influenced after that time. But I think there are also parts of his story leading up to his time at Drake, his origins in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and his path from Fort Wayne to Des Moines, Iowa that are worth checking out too. Okay, that's a great teaser. I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that long path, not just in Drake and then afterwards as well. Um, on campus, there's been a lot of emphasis to honor his legacy. Right. You're telling me about the football field, the College of Business. So in 2005, Drake named its football field the Johnny Bright Field. And in 2006, we received an apology from the, from the University of Oklahoma, sorry, the Oklahoma State University president. Um, we, we were looking for a way of bringing the academic, scholarly, educator legacy of Johnny Bright back home. And so when we founded the new John D. Bright College in 2020, we thought this was the perfect opportunity to bring the second half of his legacy, not just as a star athlete, but as a citizen of his community, as an educator, as somebody who really made connections beyond the football field, back home to Des Moines. And that is more recent history. That's right. Um, and that's a history that we're really proud to share and that comes to light in this film as well. I don't think a lot of people realize that Johnny was uh, an educator and a coach and a mentor even after he was a football player. And it's that part of that sense of commitment to others, that sense of service and that value of, uh, that he placed on academic learning and academic accomplishment that we wanna emphasize by naming Bright College after him and that shows up in the film as well. Definitely a fitting tribute for that legacy that you're sharing and letting people know about right now. So let's go over the details, okay. right? The Bright Path, the Johnny Bright story. It will air on Iowa PBS on October 24th at 9 p.m. A lot of work that went into this. I'm sure you're so excited for it to debut. Really excited to see this hit the small screen all over Iowa and hopefully a broader audience is after that as well. Okay, a living legacy indeed. Craig, thanks so much for joining us to talk uh, My pleasure. about this exciting event coming up. Thank and you. Dave, we'll send it back over to you. Thanks you both, fitting tribute for sure.